Hello my beautiful Geminis and welcome to your love reading heading into July 2022. I hope you're doing well. I've done a brief pre-shuffle to see what's going on for you um, and I'm kind of seeing that you should give up on a situation that isn't solid. We have um, building blocks in the reverse. So this is a card about foundations. So this is telling me you've got major relationship ingredients missing in this connection either it's a lack of communication and a lack of clarity about where this connection is going a lack of loyalty a lack of uh honesty um respect whatever is lacking um you can't turn a blind eye to the fact that is it is lacking um and it's not making you happy you've got happy happy in the reverse you've got orphaned in the reverse so I feel like you need to be the queen of wands in this situation have the confidence have the self-respect to give up stop trying we have the nine of wands in the reverse this is stop trying this is you've exhausted all avenues you've done your best now all you have left to do is um, um, what's the word um, know your worth have enough dignity to walk away here it didn't pan out as you had hoped but there's something better on the horizon okay that's the type of attitude spirit is wanting you to take now I want to read out these messages from the wisdom of the Oracle if I can find the um, guide book because it's a lot more articulate than I can be so just bear with me a second Okay, so the orphaned card in the reverse is saying it's time to address the unhealthy alliances you've formed and make a decision to heal the past. You will not be abandoned by the world if you claim yourself as whole. Not all relationships are dysfunctional and not all of them will disappoint you. Don't abandon yourself. So you, by you settling for this situation that isn't making you happy, it's not providing you the stability and security that you deserve. You are abandoning yourself, okay? So you can connect to others in a healthy way once you recognize your patterns and consciously choose to interrupt them. Life wants to love you. Let it. So how are you sabotaging yourself? Going for the wrong types of people, staying in the wrong relationships. It's time to change that pattern, okay? It's time to act in alignment with what you truly want. Happy, happy in the reverse is saying something has to change. So 26 in the reverse says, um, let's see. Oh. 26 in the reverse. Bear with me. It says, lighten up because this is the time to be ridiculous and silly. See the world through the eyes of a clown and don't take yourself or any situation right now too seriously. Have fun, be playful, make laughter the order of the day. You'll be surprised by how everything just seems to fall into place when humor leads the way. Okay. Um, interesting. Okay. It wasn't the message I was expecting, but anyway, there you go. Let's have a look at your simple love advice. Angels and spirit, please show me. Yeah, see, why so serious? You've got why so serious. Spirit doesn't want you to be serious right now. Um, and if you have your eye on a particular person, they aren't offering you commitment. So don't exhaust yourself trying to change their mind. Okay, the card is saying love is a game. If you get hurt during the game, you're playing it too seriously. Honour and dignity, that was the word I was looking for earlier and I think I used it. Honour and dignity are more important than winning or losing. So that was the Nine of Wands in the reverse next to the Queen of Wands. Hold your head up high, um, be, dig be dignified and leave a situation that is not um, reciprocating. Respect yourself enough to just put your best self forward and then if someone doesn't appreciate you then keep on moving right only then will you never lose
yeah. See, I feel like you were overcompensating for someone's lack of effort, right? With the unbalanced card. Yeah, you need to let go of this person. They can't give you what you want. Warning. So you weren't kind of heeding the red flags. Um, maybe this person liked the attention that you were giving and you were kidding yourself that they were actually more interested in than interested in you than what they actually were. So there's a need to kind of do some self-reflection. Why were you attracted to this person? Why did you keep beating a dead horse? Or why did you keep um, refusing to give up hope when it was quite obvious that this person just wasn't on your level or on the, your page? Let's have a look at what they would say to you. Angels and Spirit, what would they say to Gemini heading into July 2022? What would they say to Gemini? What would they say to Gemini heading into July 2022, please? Okay, so I feel like they were keeping something from you. They didn't want to tell you, they didn't want to hurt your feelings, but I feel like a truth is going to come to light. Um, and this person will be making it clear as to why they're not going to try with you. They're moving on, there's no fixing this situation. Um, Yeah, so there's a whole other side to this person that you haven't seen and they're ready to show you. They're saying, what can I say? I'm a player and I want to continue to playing the field. They're giving you mixed signals, I feel. Um, at one point, you were convinced that this person was ready to em embrace the changes that they needed to make in order to date you. Um, and then in the next moment, they just were fickle, non-committal. Um, but I definitely feel like they put on a show to make you jealous. Yeah, I'm getting mixed signals here. Both of you could be, could have been, um, giving each other mixed signals, but I'm definitely seeing that this person is moving on we've got i've lost my patience it's time that i move on and lots of jealousy lots of um games okay so if you're honest it wasn't making you happy and remember that card warning not everyone has the best intentions some people do things to make themselves feel better or to protect themselves maybe this person was playing games because they got a kick out of it I don't know um, and maybe you got hurt in the process so there's a need for you to be careful there's a need for you to kind of protect your little heart practice compassion but proceed with caution with this person okay let's have a look at other advice we can get what is the message for Gemini in love please heading into July 2022 both were, were guilty of doing something um, but two wrongs don't make a right they make a mess spirit is saying if they've done something wrong it's not justification for you to act in a similar way figure out where the relationship got off track and choose the high road Open yourself to love. I wonder whether you attracted to, you attracted this person because they were unavailable. You knew that they weren't, you know, 
they're a bit of a player and they probably weren't going to offer you commitment. Maybe you yourself are closed off to the thought of something intimate, something real. So maybe you need to work on opening up, allowing yourself to feel deeper emotions because closing yourself off will rarely lead you to the fulfilling relationship that you want. Um, yeah, there's a part of you that, that liked the idea of being with this person. They could have been very popular. They could have been very charismatic. But Spirit is saying, ask yourself if they're really right for you. Um, that they didn't really bring out the best in you. I, I feel like you were just wishing that they were the one, okay? But if you're honest with yourself, um, they were probably juggling you and someone else. We've got um, someone needing to make a choice between two. Um, yeah, definitely it was a case of you attracted to this, you attracted this person into your life because of your point of attraction. There's something that they're reflecting within you. You've got, you attract what you are, not what you want. So spirit is challenging you to become your best self. Focus on shaping your own growth so that you can attract someone better. Um, yeah, that's what the message is. Okay, let's see what your manifestation cards are. Yeah, there's a need for forgiveness. Okay, this didn't pan out as you had hoped. You're probably a little bit bitter. Um, but you need to just forgive the situation, forgive the other person for not being able to offer you what you deserve and forgive yourself for maybe holding on to this person a little bit longer than you should have. have step into your power so take your power back um believe in your good luck so i want you to wake up each morning with a sense of positive expectation that things are getting better you're healing you're feeling better about yourself with each passing day you've got no you are loved just because this person couldn't love you in the way that you deserve doesn't mean that everyone else is going to be guilty of that you're loved by many you know think about all of the love that surrounds you in your life right now love from friends neighbors family members pets um don't have a lack mindset or a poverty mindset that you know um there's a lack of love in your life that that is a block to the flow of love in your life just by focusing on on lack so i want you to change that mindset to a gratitude mindset and be thankful for all of the people and the animals that are willing to love you okay yeah leave the past behind trust the universe reflect on your priorities and make time for self-love so reflect on your priorities is about refocusing on your career your health um and not on you know why this person couldn't do right by you or show up for you or be the one that you thought that they were Okay, um, let's see what this little deck says. Yeah, not enough. So you're feeling like you weren't enough, but remember you have to be the queen of wands. Remember to take your power back, find your confidence again. Um, yes, you were frustrated by this situation, um, forgive yourself for sabotaging it. it it was never meant to happen by the looks of things um, work through your fears and your ego issues there was lots of jealousy there um, look it was just not meant to be if you can just accept that and um, move on we've got seduction uh, I feel like the two of you played games to tempt each other back um, there was intense attraction there, lots of flirting. You might miss that whole um, excitement. Don't get addicted to the highs and lows, okay? That is what keeps you stuck in a vicious cycle. Um, go and date new people and don't be tempted back by this person.
they're showing me the Grim Reaper, so it's definitely over. Um, no second chances. Grow and transform your life. Yeah, see, at the moment you're replaying old situations with the cassette tape here. Spirit is saying, leave the past behind. It's time for you to keep moving forward. So I know that that's probably not what you want to hear, Gemini. Um, it's probably what you needed to hear. Uh, regardless, um, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for commenting, liking, all of that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.